Hello and welcome to my Tekken 7 video where I will be showing you obscure punishes for obscure moves. The top moves that are considered hard or obscure to punish. So with that in mind I'd like to thank everyone who left a comment on the reddit post. It was a great help. I only main three characters Armor King, King and Kazuya. So a lot of this other stuff i would not heard of before. I ended up learning a few things today and hopefully you can as well. So I won't waste any more of your time. I hope you enjoy it. First off, we have Hihachi's one plus two. It is minus 10 on block. It is a 12 frame mid and it pushes back quite substantially on hit. So it is a good tool for pushing your opponent away from you. You can sidestep it. People often won't punish it just due to the nature of the fact that it's only 12 frames. Comes out pretty fast, it's a single hit, so it's pretty hard to punish on reaction. Okay, next up we have Fakum Rum's back one. It is minus 15 on blocks, you can launch punish this. It is a 14 frame mid, it knocks down on hit. You can step it both ways if you get the timing right. I'm there you go and uh, yeah it comes out relatively quick and from what I saw someone say it rarely gets used or thrown out in the open so it can be hard to react to just on the fact that it's seen so rarely but as you can see just give that a launch punish make sure you don't miss that okay we're moving on to Lily now and she is using a armor move mid forward forward two it is minus 17 on block so easily punishable by the whole cast comes out in 18 frames so i wouldn't say it's too slow nor too fast um i tried stepping this and you can but the timing is super hard uh due to the nature that she has to dash forward so she kind of realigns when she does the attack so your best bet is simply to Block the attack and launch, or with punish. Okay, let's take a look at Kazuya. I've actually got two moves for him, but let's just get started on the first one. We have his 1-1-2, which is his 10 frame punisher. Um, I'm showing you the first and second hit of it first before I show you the end, because Kazuya players often will use just the first and second hits and not finish the string. It's just a good way for them to keep you spaced out, stop you moving around. Um, and when they do finally finish it, which is rare, um, a lot of people are not able to react and punish it as it is minus 17 frames. So you can punish that, but it often does not get punished. The second move that I've got for Kazuya today is his while standing two. It is a 16 frame mid launcher, doesn't have to be counter hit. Uh, the issue is that even though it is 16 frames, it, it seems faster. Um, it is super hard to react to, especially to launch punish. I often find that when I punish this personally, I give it the old one two treatment because. Um, in the middle of the battle, sometimes it can look like a down forward two, in which case a back one two would be appropriate. Just to add as well, it is completely homing, so don't try sidestepping it. You will get hit and you will eat that. It is not worth attempting. Um, so yeah, just block and launch. Okay, on to King now, and I've got two for King as well. Well, technically three, and this one's a bit more of an obscure one. I thought I'd mix it up a bit, and it is something you'll see often, which is where King will extend his 1 2 or 1 2 1 combo into the 4 and 5 hit variations. The 4 hit variation, where he does 4 hits from his jab string. That is launch punishable minus 19 on block. If he continues to do the fifth hit, then it only becomes minus 10. So it's something to keep in mind. If you see him do only the four hits in the string, you know, try and launch it. And if he goes to five, then, oops, yeah, then jab punish it. Okay, moving on to the second part for King, we have his 
down one plus two, which is his get out of jail free card, really. It's a mid launcher, it's probably his highest damaging launcher uh, into combo, that is. Um, it is heavily minus, but it sort of crushes under a lot of stuff, so. If you're pressuring a king player, then they're quite likely to use this. Um, some characters can't really punish this that well, because as you can see, it's got a bit of pushback on it. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I'm lucky that with Armor King, I can just punish with his Dark Upper. I had to switch over to my stick because I suck at Dark Uppers on the controller. So there you go. Okay, moving on to Yoshimitsu. I've got a few, quite a few for him. Uh, shout out to the guy, Amazing Horse on Reddit. He gave me a lot to work with, which I'm glad of. So let's try and get through this as quickly as possible. So to start with, we have Yoshimitsu's down forward 1 4. Minus 12. So, you know, back 1 2 that. And we have another one, down forward one, two. For this one, you want to duck the high. So back one, two, punish for that, minus 12, mid, mid. And for this one coming up, duck the second hit and launch. I cock that up, but I can't be asked away again, so that will do. Next up, we've got another two hit string. So we have... Yoshimitsu's back 2-2, two, two. duck the second hit and launch. And we have his launch punishable mix-up, which is his back 2-1. So just be aware the second hit is a mid on the back 2-1. It is launch punishable, so it's all about having the read. I would imagine most Yoshimitsu's will come into the match spamming this version first and if they see that you keep ducking that second hit they will probably start throwing out that unsafe launcher. So if you have a hard read when they do do that be sure to punish it and it will make them think twice about doing that again. Next up for Yoshimitsu we have his while standing 1-1-1-1 one, 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 one combo. It is pretty damaging if you eat the whole thing. Minus six. And if you block the whole thing, it is completely neutral. So the trick is it starts with a high, has two mids in the middle. Eh? No, it starts with a mid, two highs in the middle, and a mid at the end. So the only way that you can punish this is by doing some kind of quick counter. Let me see if you can actually launch punish this. Okay, it's possible very hard. I wouldn't recommend that. I would recommend sticking with your Wild Rising for, uh, for Armor King or any kind of quick punisher that your character has. Well, thank God after that one, we've got a nice easy one, and that is Yoshimitsu's Crouch Dash 1. He Crouch Dashes in, so I wouldn't recommend trying to step, because he will realign if you do it too early. Um, it's just a mid that is minus 17, so you can launch punish it. Uh, from what the guy on Reddit was saying, it sounds like Yoshimitsu, Yoshimitsu's can actually space it to make it not launch punishable, so that's something to keep in mind. We've got a deceptive one here. I always thought of this free hit string, that the last hit was a mid, but as you can see, it's a high mid high. So you know what to do, duck the last hit and launch. Okay, next up we have Yoshimitsu's down 2-2, two, two, which can also be extended into his down 2-2-1 two, two, combo. Let's have a quick look. So here's the down 2-2. Two, two. It is minus 12 on block. And then if he puts in the third hit, that is a high. Duck and launch. To Nina, we've got a nice simple one. It's just a, a one hit up forward three from Nina. It is minus 10. 
someone on Reddit was saying that this never gets punished, so I'm sticking it here for that reason. Okay, we're now moving on to Josie, and this is one I had no idea about before doing the video. I saw someone on Reddit said this, that her string 143, which starts from a jab, uh, is launch punishable, minus 15, and that they said that whenever they play as Josie in matches, it never gets punished properly. So let's take a quick look at the move. So yeah, it's minus 15. Uh, one thing while I was testing this out, because initially I tried to hop kick launch this and that is not possible. It's a high high mid, so you can't you know duck the last hit. And I was trying to hop kick punish this with Armor King uh, and I cannot. Um, that might just depend on the character you're playing as. Maybe your player's hop kick can reach there, but mine cannot. So for me, I've got to do a dark upper punish. That's kind of probably the only choice I've got really. Just to add as well, it can be the sidewalks. If I can stop fucking it up. Okay, technical difficulties. There we go. Okay. And you can step it to the right as well. Hopefully that doesn't take as long. There we go. Okay. Okay, last of all, we're going to move on to my current main, Armor King. Let me see if I can show you some stuff. So I've got Josie to block, and let's just see. So first of all, I want to show you Armor King's down forward two. It's a counter hit mid launcher. It comes out at 15 frames. So us Armor King mains do actually tend to use it a lot. It's a good way to relieve us from our opponents pressuring us. Um, it does actually have a second and a third hit extension, which you will see quite rarely. Down forward two, one, or down forward two, one, three. Uh, I'm pretty sure the three is launch punishable. I should probably check that. I will. Uh, guard all. Yep, launch punishable. There you go. So the only safe part of this is the second hit. If it goes to the second hit, leave it alone. First hit, because it comes out quite quick and it's minus 12, it can be quite tricky to punish. I never see people punish that. Um, so obviously use your 12 frame launcher to punish this. Maybe practice it a bit, mixing up with other things. Because like I say, during a match, it can be quite hard to catch. Here's another one, a nice easy one. This very rarely gets punished, if not at all. Um, you know, sometimes your opponent will duck it, but as far as blocking is concerned, once an opponent blocks this, they rarely punish. Um, I don't think this is necessarily because people have no idea that it's minus 10 on block. I just think that because the move comes out quite fast, it can be quite difficult to punish. So, you know, it's just something to keep in mind. Maybe you did or didn't know that, but now you do. It is minus 10 on block, so punish it with your... 10 frame punish, whatever that might be. All right, I thought I was done, but apparently not. I've just found one more, which is actually really interesting. So it's Armor King's generic, just down four, pretty generic, low. You know, it has very long reach, so it is actually very handy. It's a good round ender, only minus 13 on block. However, if you are crouching already, which obviously in this kind of situation where you're trying to finish a round, you might be already having ducked under something. A lot of the time you will be ducking. If you go into down four while ducking, it is no longer minus 13. It's now minus 15. So it is now launch punishable by most of the cast. So that's quite interesting. I had no idea about that until just now while I was messing around. From standing, minus 13. From crouch, launch. There you have it. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you were able to learn something new. If I made any mistakes, please let me know in the comments. Or if you know any moves that are considered obscure or hard to punish, please let me know down below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, 
yeah thanks to everyone from the reddit again for contributing to today's video so yeah take care